what a fantastic season it has been in our first season back in the Bundesliga. Guaranteed European qualification, but we're not finished yet. We're one game away from qualifying for the Champions League. <laughs> Welcome back to episode 10 of Saving Schalke. What a fantastic return to the Bundesliga has been this season. Overachieved, exceeded expectations, find ourselves third in the Bundesliga, potentially one game away from qualifying for the Champions League. European qualification is already in the bag, but depending on what other results go, uh, and obviously we win our matches, we have a chance to qualify for the financial kind of bank role that is the Champions League. Fantastic overachievement. You know, not particularly with the best squad, really young squad, no signings. So over the moon with what we've achieved this season. But hopefully we can cross over the line there, get that Champions League, make big money next season, and hopefully start making some good signings. Even finishing third in the Bundesliga itself would be amazing. You know, just the financial uh, reward that brings. And the finances have taken a bit of hit again this season, paying massive loans off, and 30 odd million in debt. So certainly going to come as a, a welcome relief. So coming up for you today, we've got two matches, home to Stuttgart, where, like I say, we could potentially seal our um, Champions League spot, obviously depending on other results. In Bayer Leverkusen, just behind us, level on points. We're obviously battling, uh, sorry, one point behind. We're level on points with RB Leipzig as well. So depending on how results go, depends whether they can qualify for the Champions League, you know, within one match, home to Stuttgart. Next match, if it comes down to it, the last match of the season, is away at Hamburg. Fingers crossed we can get the job done at Stuttgart, but if needs be, is the away fixture at, at Hamburg itself. Also coming up, stay tuned, I have changed the tactic for the Stuttgart match. Uh, something a little bit brave the last two uh, matches of the, of the season, considering how well we've done this season with our 4 4 2 diamond. Still a variation of that, but something when I played against Freiburg a few games back, I played a little formation, that kind of stood out to me and you know I, I, although I won the beat won the match 4-2 I just kind of looked at the formation they seemed to have a lot of chances seemed to kind of I wouldn't say domino, dominate us because obviously we won 4-2 but it's looked like a really good tactic so some of I've had a little look at so stay tuned for that and um, I'll show you that, that that new tactic but let's get right into it since you were last with us then uh, against that defeat sorry that draw by Munich we did go on to lose against Dortmund at home a uh, game that could have gone either way probably didn't deserve Maybe to lose it, I think a draw would have been a fair result. Quite a grabbing a goal. Five uh, shots, four on target. Although they kind of dominate, I suppose, in terms of shots. They, they only had three on target themselves, scoring two of them. So, clearly a little bit more clinical. Moving on from that, then we played Freiburg, the game I mentioned. Got beat 4-2. Pointer on fire here, scoring a hat-trick. But, it's, yeah, this is where I took the uh, inspiration for the next tactic from. Clearly, kind of a 4-2-2-2. They seem to create a lot of chances, and I think I probably got a little bit lucky, to be honest with you, although the stats may suggest otherwise. Game probably took my chances a lot better. And uh, quite rare, quite there on fire there with a hat. Following on from that, we played FC Cologne, 4-3, another kind of barn burner. Uh, could have gone either way, this one. Game quite there, popping up with two goals, which is kind of six in three games, I think. Fantastic form, it's just the right time as well, but... I to get a little bit concerned with the amount of goals conceded. You know, I'm scoring a lot, but I am conceding quite a, quite a lot as well. So that's why I thought it was maybe a time for a little bit of a refresh in the tactic. So that was my reason behind us. Again, lost to RB Leipzig. Game I was never really in, to be honest, uh, to be honest with you. Dominated from start to finish. I only had three shots on target. They had eight. Ran out 2 nil winners. Bit of a domination. Again, spur me on to, to change my tactic. 2-1 winner at home to Werder Bremen. Werder Bremen. And then that followed up uh, another kind of bomb burn, if you like, against Mains where three all back and forth fourth game. We kind of they took the lead, we equalised, we took the lead, they equalised, kind of thing. So the game this I saw New Drago popping up this time with a couple of goals. Um starting to show a bit of form himself as well. But we can see it considering too many. A little bit kind of loose at the back there. So I thought maybe it's time for a refresh, a little bit of a change of tactic, maybe try something a little bit different. Maybe not the right idea to do, we'll have two games to go, you know, when you're pushing for a Champions League spot, but got to be brave, got to be bold, and uh, have to give it, give it a shot, I think. So looking at other things then, finances, like I mentioned before, £35 million in debt, not ideal. Um, it's a bit, 
Really need to clear up vision for the Bundesliga, which gives a massive boost, makes 70 odd million, I think, and that'll kind of clear a majority of that and leaves a little bit spare for next season. Champions League money, if we get there as well, worth an absolute fortune. So, good season next season in Europe. We'll probably you know, set it in good stead. Hopefully, get rid of some of our loans and get them kind of push on and start building the, the club back up again. Things I want to kind of do next season improve the youth uh, facilities, improve the training facilities, get them right up there, start getting the quality youth intake. But we can't do that until we start clearing all of this debt. Because we have one signing I made as well, kind of ready for next season, just going to join at the end, end of this season. Kind of like a centre back, kind of a left back. Don't want something to kind of strengthen the, the squad up a little bit. Free transfer, 25 years old. I think, uh, you know, could be a really decent addition there to the squad. Great tackling, great stats all around. Nothing that stands out, you know, completely, but I think he's just a really solid kind of centre back, left back, uh, left back option. Certainly with this new new tactic I'll be looking at. Certainly want someone in the defending can pass the ball a little bit better, you know, changing up the ball playing defenders, but We'll go through that a little bit later. Looking at kind of stats, work competitions, not really kind of blown anything away in terms of overall, I don't know, I think stat wise. Game has been fairly solid, fairly kind of under the radar. Same with the players as well. No one's really kind of stood out massively. Goals wise, 15 from quite there with eight assists, fantastic for an advanced forward. Pop on there, 13, uh, top, sorry. Udrego popping up with 10. Goes where you'd expect. A few little kind of people chipping in from kind of midfield areas as well. One Gartle defender there with four his name, Sergeon on loan, popping up with six. And like I say, it could do something a little bit better. Feels as though we're kind of lacking maybe some little bit of cutting edge. So again, hence the reason of the change of tactic. Kind of looking at um again about the competitions. If you look at you know what we've done this season, and kind a of season preview put us down in 12. We're now kind of, say, heading up in third. Massive overachievement this season. Really, really kind of great standout season back in the Bundesliga. Certainly wasn't expecting this. I was expecting a bit, little bit of a relegation battle. But we've all exceeded. We're fighting for kind of European spots. And if you have a little look at the table there as well, 57 points, level with uh, Leipzig. And Bayer uh, Leverkusen just a point behind us there. Cologne as well. Kind of snapped out our, our, our heels on 53. Only four points behind, so kind of a double loss work towards the end of the season. We'll maybe find ourselves out of the uh, potentially uh, Champions League spot, uh, spots altogether. Can't see Hoffenheim, obviously, we're miles away from them, so we're safe. So either way, we're in Europe, but the Champions League is where we want to be. Here we go, our first match of the episode at home to Stuttgart for a chance to obviously for a place in the, in the Champions League. So this is the tactic I'm going to be using, this tactic I spoke about. Still a little bit of a de de uh, development. I'm actually trialed this in my other save that I'm doing in my journeyman save out in the Pacific. Um, if you get a chance, drop over there and give that a watch. Really fun, interesting save. Working very well pre-season in that game, although from a very, very slightly lesser able team, should we say. So I've had to kind of dial that back a little bit, but still kind of tinkering, tinkering around with it. Looks kind of like a little bit of a weird formation, but... I suppose there's another advancement of the 4 4 uh, narrow diamond anyway. Just kind of sort of having that brought the kind of two DMs back, which, to be honest with you, are probably the more natural positions. Certainly Sch uh, Schallenberg operates here very, very well. Probably gives them a little bit more freedom. With these traits of dict uh, dictates tempo, nice ball play at the feet, switch ball to wide areas. This should be a really, really good system for him. If he picks up a ball, he can kind of ping it out, out wide where I want it. Uh, let these full, uh, full, full backs run under it. That's kind of what, what I wanted to do. Looking at the stats, uh, wing backs weren't really getting into the game as much or in, in the games. Not many assists from uh, away on. Three for the season in the league, which I think is disappointing for someone with 16 crossing and uh, kind of 13 passing. Not, uh, not the best at all. Five assists for uh, Balut on the right there, but still, considering the goals I've scored, don't think I'm really getting enough from them wing backs, certainly in a narrow formation. So, the team the day, we'll talk about through the formation as goes on the end of the team. Yusufu, super keeper on defend. Balut, wing back and attack on the right. Von Gartel and Matt Rossini as two centre backs. But I like these to be ball playing defenders, maybe, but they just haven't got that ability. So I'm, and I think with Schallenberg and Tuttman just in front of them, with kind of a decent passing range. Um, I think it's kind of pointless having kind of ball playing defenders at the moment. Just keep that centre back, see if I can bring in that quality 
and then kind of go from there. The way on, we can back on the left. And if I, once I test this tactic, if I feel like it's kind of decent and good, I'll probably release it as a, as a video at some point as well. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe use it this end of this season, going at the next. Schallenberg and Teltman, both as DMs. Schallenberg as a more on defend. So offer that kind of cover in front of the defensive line. I think the way my wing back's going to be bombing on. Want that kind of hold steady in the middle. Teltman with that little bit more freedom to maybe kind of come up and support the uh, midfielders. But obviously, Schallenberg wanted to kind of fold out here. Full position. Just kind of protect that kind of back line, if you like, as we players kind of get forward. Moving on to the attack and midfielders area. With Drago, attack and midfielder on attack. Moving to channels is another one. So again, he's still going to operate around here as well. Uh, almost operating as kind of kind of wide men, as kind of wingers, if you like. Uh, Serjan is an uh, advanced playmaker on that one. May have changed these to maybe shadow strikers or, I don't know, maybe the two attacking midfielders. But at the moment, I want them to kind of operate around here. Often support these wing backs. Top is a person forward on attack. And Poitier is the advanced forward on attack. So really, kind of when your formation's in full swing, Turn up something like this, you know, kind of players out wide here, wing backs kind of bombing on, four people in the attack. So, interesting to see how, how it plays out, it may completely backfire, but we can see, we'll, 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 we'll try it and see how we go. Kind of in possession, fairly wide, slightly short of possession, slightly high tempo, run of defence, almost kind of like a ticky tackerish, I think, I suppose, if you like. Counter press counter, distribute quickly, all these kind of um, counter attacks to be quick and snappy enough you know, to get the ball up the pitch quickly. Distribute the full backs, take short kicks, standard defensive line, high line of engagement, and prevent uh, short ball keeper distribution. Nothing else ticked on here. Like I said before, get stuck in, I normally have either get stuck in on or I do it on individual instructions. On this occasion, I've gone for individual instructions, but I may change this to maybe slightly higher, maybe it's kind of force that kind of. That line up the pitch, you know, close down quickly by tempo. But we'll see how this one pans out. It's going to be kind of too direct straight away. And yeah, that's kind of where we're at the moment. So let's jump right into it. We can get this kind of Champions League qualification wrapped up and fingers crossed. Head into Europe next season in the Champions League. Here we go. One match. We've completely complete our season. Champions League football. This is where it all kind of what all comes down to. Last two games of the season. I want to stop guard. I can't remember what the last result was. I think we beat them away from home, if I remember rightly. But again, the team that's having a fantastic season in real life, stop guard. I think they're in the Bundesliga, I think this season, aren't they? I think everyone's talking about kind of by uh, Leverkusen and how bad Byron's doing. But uh, yeah, I think stop guard's having a fantastic season at the moment. Bit fantastic team, good youth system, similar to ours. But so it all comes down to here. What if I can kind of maybe get the related scores on? See, I think we're looking at that by Leverkusen themselves as we defend a corner. Get it over the bar. I can see they must be playing tomorrow, I wonder. Any signs are not too great at the moment. This new tactic still comes forward. Gomez shoots. Oh, whistles past the post. 17 minutes gone. Not exactly looking amazing. Only a few teams playing today. Use a few of the save from free kick. About 30 odd yards out. Who caught that? We defend the corner. Burek. Very clear. Only Gomez seems to be causing a few problems. Ulrich blazes it. Fairly even stats wise, I think, if we head into half time. I may have to change Tottenham, I didn't realise. He was so tired there, I think, so I'll just drop him before half time. Nearly with a goal kick out wide. Back with Melia. I don't seem to be having much of the ball, to be honest. We seem to be playing around us quite a bit. We're suffering down that right hand side. The way on the great tackle there, cleared by Templeman. We mustn't have. Quite right there, picks up the ball. So I want to see a little bit quicker, these kind of counter attacking. Serjan, the shot over the bar. 
Google Waste. You've got to find maybe find a pass there. Creating quite a bit. Better XG. I know we felt as all kind of uh, stuck out on top, but I think so we've had the better chances. Tell them that's not acceptable. I know it's a new formation to be honest with you, so I can't expect miracles straight away, but Balu there looking, Balu looking really tired as well. Young and Aideen, fresh pair of legs. Should maybe to check your player's condition before this start this match, but put the ball there now. Put out a Balut. Brave put a shot edge of the box, 1 0. Not bad. Not really sure about this formation. We'll have to tweak it a little bit more, I think, but. We've got our goal. Balu picks it up, drives forward, right footed shot, squirms past Melier at the bottom right hand corner. Great start after the second half. We, I'm sorry he has to come off, but he's tired. I thought Shannon Bergen would have maybe um, had a better, better match this match, but. Oh, one all. Bloody hell, man. Maybe he's dropping a bit of support, maybe give him a little bit more freedom with his passing range. I don't know whether he's maybe restricting him too much, but yeah, can't concede it straight away. Four minutes after our goal. Who were defending? Yusufu, not sure what that was. Rubbish goalkeeping. 1 1. Not ideal. Still find ourselves kind of. You know, it's, it's a very fantastic XG, but. Bill Wien whips a corner in. Can't find anyone. Sergeon. Bongal. Mehmet. Might make Sergeon a little bit more aggressive. Oh, could be on for a corner attack here, Babu. No, Yusufu. My word, I will. Sadly, like kind of lose a little bit of confidence in that kid. Like, he's developing really well. He's obviously had a fantastic season. Can't really grumble too much, but. Does not feel some stupid stuff at times. A little bit flat at the moment, not. Again, it's not creating enough, but. Well, we are with a corner on the left, uh, throwing on the left. Rodrigo. That will be on. Can you find a cross? No. Put out and cleared. Matt was seeing you the header. Will we on? Kian, can't find anyone. That's probably why I haven't got him as a ball playing defender. We on again. Can you find the pass? Finds Hadze. We on again. Back to Hadze. Find Schallenberg. Oh, the bar. Give Schallenberg a little bit more freedom. And he has come up a little bit more. Maybe that's what he needed, but Britain has improved. It may be time for a change, I think. Oof. Right now, look a little bit here. Made a few subs. But uh, top is a bit more aggressive. Just trying to think where we can bring on here. Sergeon, maybe. Really lacking in attacking midfielders. Schellenberg, what's up with Gruger? We are, we'll give to Becker. Maybe Matt Rossini will try Bissek. Bit of height, even nick a corner. But no, I'm trying something different, but plenty of shots. 26 on target. Certainly, so we need to improve. Certainly, create a lot more. We're heading towards full time here. I think that may be it. We may have to go out the last game of the season. Yeah. Was at the right time to be between complete domination, really. They equalised. It's only the spell of their uh, position that they had, really, apart from towards the end, but maybe I made a little bit more of that. Dominate possession, so it's a good possession based, based tactic. May need a few tweaks. But yeah, a little bit disappointed with that. That leaves us fourth still by Leverkusen, or oh, already played, so. Two points ahead of Bayer Leverkusen. 
Chapman, now we have to see Claire Cologne go on. We may still ahead the last game of the season. Uh, it's going to be tight. Last game of the season, I think. Oh, this is what it comes down to. Last game of the season. Three way tie for the uh, Champions League spot. Last one available. RP Leipzig crept above us in the league. We currently sit in fourth place. Still a fantastic achievement. Still third up for grabs, depending on what happens in this last year. But at the moment, we're focused on that fourth Champions League spot. FC Cologne, two points behind us, along with Bayer Leverkusen. A goal difference probably means that a draw will be enough for us. So most certainly will be. Can't see a kind of a big enough goal to bring for that to, to, to change. So here we go, heading into our kind of last match. All to play for. Fantastic, exciting into the season. Little news thing popped up there. Drago wins under 19's player of the year. Balut in second. Fantastic from the, the two young lads there. Been great all season. Balut getting better and better. Kind of when I first put him in there, he was kind of something like three stars to me, you know. Unsure when I brought him in from the Bundesliga two, but better and better each each game. Hopefully continue continue on for them. And that's kind of the same way. You Drago exactly the same with 54 million now. Fantastic player. Know how good he is. And hopefully he can step up in this last match. Bring us home to the Champions League qualification glory. Same team as before, pretty much. I'm going to look to double check there. Everyone's match fit. No one's kind of injured. Keep with the same team. Sir John's one in a contract. I might be two minds about to sign this kid. He hasn't been too bad. Six goals, six assists. That's some good kind of player traits there. That might come in useful, certainly, with this, this formation. But we'll jump right into it. Just something to kind of do the end of season uh, review as well. Try and squeeze that into this episode. See what I'll kind of budget's going to be for next season, that would uh, hopefully qualify for the Champions League. European Cup, we qualify for that properly now anyway as well, so no Conference League for us, it'll be the uh, proper European Cup, so either or, won't be too disappointed, but that Champions League spot would just be, would be sweet, would be the icing on the cake. Certainly just coming up from uh, Bundesliga 2 last season, I kind of thought I'd be battling, not relegation, but maybe mid-table, and you know, fighting get as high as high the league as possible the, the money but to finish kind of third fourth in the top half is just crazy but to the credit of the team good set of kind of mix of experience and youth as we have a problem with Uyan on the left I'm not sure if I'm seeing his name right either probably not do a Drago back to Uyan and he cut in the loot top oh it's packed at that one offside anyway I think but we had to start with Uyan with a free kick Chips it in. Might receive the head of Schallenberg. Ooh, him was the offside. Yeah, I think so. Great start, though. Very positive. Again, dominating possession. Not a bad tactic, this uh, possession wise. Not too bad. I've uh, tweaked a few things from the last game, made certain players a little bit more aggressive, give Schallenberg a little bit more freedom. Which I think he probably needs with his with his traits and abilities. Four shots, two on target. Again, still feel a little bit more clinical. We have to kind of dial with Drago and Sergeant. I haven't got them on shooting their stuff, uh, shooting their stuff and anything. So maybe be kind of taking shots from outside the box. But to be fair, there's only two that have been taken from that position. So anything else is it within the, within the box? We defender throw in on the right. That's what we see would be. Switch off at times as well and concede and a city goals against the run of player. A little bit frustrating, but this area is here away from him in the ball back. Hopefully he launch a quick counter attack. No, he's found himself in space, so puts it wide to the left. A little bit of a warning shot there. They're playing an arrow diamond themselves as well. So hopefully I was a little bit more about us, but Do not want to lose this much. Draw would be great. Let's see a few more tackles coming in here. Oh, come on. That is soft. What on earth was that? One goal has gone down us, but... Wow. Yeah, I think the change in defence next season may not be a bad thing. 
look at the state of that. Von Gardner is 6.5. They take him off at half time. Can we possibly back here with Weon on the left? We'll throw in. Comes back with Weon. The Templeman chips the ball in. Top. No control. Blazes it over. And over the goal kick. Get it down. Oh dear, it was a meat challenge. Top wins the ball back. Sergeant. Oh, sloppy passing. Oh, he's through. And it's 2 0. Wow. It's for half time. Absolutely falling apart. Maybe not the best idea to change tactic. I still think, that, I think there's something in that tactic, definitely, but certainly not the best time to change it, maybe. <laughs> One shot and they're hit by two goals. Tell me I'm absolutely raging. Destiny to see where that leaves us in the league. We need a big fight back second half. Drago. Oh. Saved by Rob. Follow up. I mean, seven shots on target. Eight. It's nothing going in. Left yet. Drop down in fifth by Leverkusen. Must be winning. Maybe do a botch and help us out here. There's FC Cologne as we defend a throw in from the left. Wow, 3 0. We certainly are winning this game, that's for sure. What an absolute horror show. Two centre backs. Some turned up. Throw in comes out there. And he's just been a thorn on our side. Crack player by the looks of it. We have to look at him for next season. Wow. Used to feel at 5.8. What a time to have an absolute terrible rating. Bring in Kadir, bring in Bissek. It'll probably change a lot to be honest with you. What have we got? Luke's not having a bad game. Yeah, I think it's uh, safe to say it's, we blew it. Absolutely blew it. Maybe not a good idea, I suppose, to change tactic, but I thought it was worth a shot. To quite honest with you, we've created a lot, just have not scored. I can see some absolute horror, horror goals, to be honest. Horrific defending. Yusuf non-existent it's a shame he's been solid all season can't even fault him he turns up with that absolute dross there's nothing you can even do to get back there's 20 minutes left fancy is scoring uh, three goals as we give the ball away again but I've got to take that one that's on me that oh my word he's just absolutely out of an absolute shock I used to feel Absolute shocker. What on earth is going on? Fire Leverkusen 2 0 up now. And yeah, that's just not qualified for the Champions League. Yeah, European will. I suppose you can't complain, but I mean, what an awful finish to the season. 4 0. And we just we're all over the place. Tired, no ideas. Use of food just doesn't know what he's doing. But actually we probably forgot how to be a goalkeeper. No, not great. Not great at all. My god, I'm surprised he even caught that way he's been playing. Because then just throw it in the back of his net. No, I suppose he's FC Cologne on playing, so he's finished fourth, maybe. Absolutely gutted to miss out of them Champions League spots. We just, we're just not there. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. He's Bissek and uh, Kadar perform better in centre back positions. Bob Garland, Mark Rossini. Goal, Schallenberg. 
So I was a tiny little bit of respect, I suppose. Hard to celebrate that. Absolute shocking. It's the only created quite a bit. I mean, two goals down, and they had one shot on targets. Speaks volumes. But other than that, we've just been absolutely terrible. I mean, they've they had six shots. We've had 12 shots on target. Scored one goal. That is just crazy. Look at these stats here. Top with seven shots. Three go with a one. Quite a none. So it's all, it was all falling to, to top. Three from Templeman, two from Schallenberg. From Cartel, Balut. We on. Two from a on. Maybe look to take them off, shoot more off, nothing. But other than that, I mean, top, absolutely abysmal. To be fair, the first half, into the second half, we were a better team. Dominating it, XG of three. No, it's, what, what a horror show. But we move on to the next season. I may, I may stick with that tactic. I think there's something in it. May need a, a few tweaks on. A little bit of a change, but finished fifth overall. Disappointed considering we're sitting third. But we're in Europe. Um, more than I thought, I thought it would be at the end of the season. Just feels like a little bit of a, a waste there, we're throwing it away a touch. But we move on, on to the next season, see how our budgets are, make some transfers, maybe sell a few players, freshen the squad up. And yeah, we move on. We want the season review. Feel a bit sick now, feel a bit down after that, but no positivity. Like see, we weren't expect to be there, expect to be down in 12 uh, this season. So, you know, you've got to take it as it is. Be proud of it, proud of what we've done. And we just move on. Unfortunately, we weren't able to call it, uh, qualify for the Champions League this season, but still got Europe. Still can't kind of grumble with that. Kind of a little bit hard to be players, I suppose, but I've got to take some of that blame. Last two games, changed the tactic. Felt as though I could probably lost that anyway. The tactics we were playing we were kind of conceding a lot, so tried to meet new. I may still stick with that next season, I think. Uh, keep persevering with it. Keep tweaking it. I think there is something there. Bringing a few more players for the, for the, for the roles. And like I say, we go again, and to be honest with you, the Champions League may have been a step too far for us. And we're the biggest of squads. A lot of youth players is back up. Um, board have set the initial budgets. Have a little look there. 18.3 million uh, transfer budget. and £700,000 wage budget. Not too bad, considering at the moment we have about 500000 uh, committed to spending. So... Well, that's under 180,000 extra wage budget. So we can do something with that, 80 million. We'll bring one or two more players. Try and strengthen that squad, certainly for European competition. What we'll do, we'll probably have a look at the Air Club vision. There's something that's kind of going on at the minute about board takeover. I don't know whether that's the um, kind of like the overall director or something, you know, managing director or something going on, whether that's being sorted out now. But they're saying, Pretty say, same as before, sign German players. Sign players based in Germany. We'll try and look at that and stop them being devastated. Develop players uh, using the club's youth system. Play defensively solid football. We're happy with that. Play a counter attack on football. Work in the wage budget. Grow the club's reputation. Moving for your contracts of first team players. Fair enough. Five years. Just be competitive in the Europa League. We've got a bonus to top our finish. I think well. Be fairly easy. Um, that's pretty much it, really. Stay top off for the next five years, so we'll accept that. Our dynamics looking good there. Discuss our plans in the top half finish. Just a break when I've seen one of you fully rested. Qualify for Europa League. I think it might be too much to top off. Top off next time around. Is that the one? Yep, that's the one. Not really keen on this kind of. Style, I think, like you say, all you got to do is kind of emulate what the board's requested or fans, etc., and match that up, and you know, everyone's happy. Let's see that being a little bit more dynamic and new, new versions of FM. Certainly, if the FM 25s meant to go by and there's a new match engine, fingers crossed, there might be a few more dynamic kind of, I don't know, areas that could be improved. Certainly, with the kind of progression of AI, maybe I don't know whether kind of interviews that may take a different twist and 
a little bit more dynamic, a little you know, a bit different each time. But we'll see, see what it brings. So we'll go on through, have a look at our end of season review. DFB Pro Card one more make for pretty reading. League over the moon with. Can't, can't grumble. Kind of be disappointed. And I think the players might have bottled a little bit, but maybe that's my fault. Should I change the tactic? Maybe not. But I think I have to be brave and make decisions like that. And this time it didn't work out. But we live and learn. Requested the youth recruitment. That's been upgraded there now. Happy with that. And also ask for more with the transfer revenue percentage. I'm not going to maybe sell a few a couple of players in this uh, this season. Previously it was set at ten percent. It's now at least to get twenty five percent of it. Extra fifteen percent it goes a long way. Certainly if I sell kind of a few players. A few players up for a kind of a loan here as well, which I'll I'm going to set my scouts now. Got a bit of money to play with, so probably a good opportunity to uh, get the scouts out there, get them looking kind of in depth. So you can pick up a kind of a few bargains across Europe, kind of Asia maybe, expand our scouting network, maybe bring in a few more scouts, and um, plan for the uh, seasons ahead. Like I said, I'm going to have an absolute pot of money. Yeah, 80 million is not, not bad, but not fantastic great either. Here we are then, end of season review, new arrivals. I made one or two myself, Serjan, Bisek, obviously quite a, quite as, Come back is a good one overall, really, really good. 15 goals, eight assists, not too shabby. Took a while to get going. Game good towards the end of the season, although it's final two games, couldn't quite quite do it. Sergeant, game not too bad. May look at him to fill that kind of attacking you know, advanced or attacking midfielder role. He's got a bit of a bit of pace about him. Um could get him on a free as well. Don't think it'd be a particularly bad signing. May do a job for his two and a half star, three and a half star potential. But maybe keep an eye on him. Certainly his backlog may not be a bad one. This act as well, maybe someone I'll look to bring in and play a little bit more. 24 years old, probably good ratings. Wasn't outstanding for us, but he had two appearances. He is a sub. But I think I may look to bring him in, give him a bit more game time. I think I've got a thing on for 3.3 million. I think that's a bad option there, centre back. Certainly if I look to move maybe Bob Gartle on or Matt Rossini. Which I know is interesting in them. So, but I'm happy with us. Bundesliga, obviously, qualified for Europe. Quite there. 12 goals in the league. Yeah, not outstanding. Cracking home attendance, though. It's under 60,000. 90% of the, of the uh, max attendance. Satisfied the board requirements. Not a bad kind of run in the league. Like I for our first season back. Really, really happy with that. Yeah, poor, uh, poor Carl. He certainly want to forget. Cancel run stock. Moments to remember. 8 0 Hammer of Homburg and DFB Pokal. 2 1 uh, win over uh, Leipzig. Obviously, that was kind of reverse on the return fixture. And the three uh, goal of the season is Udrego. U- you can have a maybe have a look at that again. I kind of remember these. Was it in the 20th minute was it this one? There's only a few games ago, I think, as well. Look what my memory is. Great strike. Top right on corner. Top bins, not bad. Finances them, broadcast revenue is down. I'm surprised. Not more sponsorship. Corporate hospitality is up. Competition prize money, obviously, being the Bundesliga official, where we did. Two million commercial, no new sponsorship deals so far. Udrego, Kite, Tantman, Seguin, and Turod. Shirt sales, so Turod may not be here next season, or Seguin. Again, not fantastic ratings. That's why I think I need a little bit more out of the players. Kind of a uh, Rodrigo quite in top up front there, standout players, but I think that the new tech I'm, tactic I'm looking at, once I get it right, I think it may work a lot, a lot better. It's just kind of something to say it's not flown, not flown right. I felt that all season. I know obviously you finished where I finished, and you can't grumble that much, but I still fit there, feel as well needs a little bit of work. Get them players really firing. Like I said, I'm not normally wanting to play a narrow formation, so it's all kind of new to me as I've gone along, but I like the player, player awards. Fans play of the season, Gay KK top, 7.1, not bad. Good player of the season, again himself. Signing of the season, Koita. Goal of the season, which we've seen, Udrigo. Top goal scorer, Koita. Most of sits assists, assist Templeman on 8. I think it was actually joint with Koita as well. Play the match awards, top. Nice average rating, top. Most passes completed, is uh, CC, which is interesting. May look to give him a little bit more game time. 
as well next season. Not a bad centre back. They start kind of bringing these kind of youngsters through. Brickle Breakers is top. Four goals in a match. Top again. Most player player of the match awards. Schallenberg's worst disciplined. Youngest player. Petro Policy, which give it a little bit of game time. Again, developed really nice. He's 16 years old. Kind of brought up the train with the kind of main team. I mean, even give him a bit of game time next season. I think he's he's, he's getting that good. Another half star or so. He's either going to send him out on loan, but I think he's just developed really well. Probably benefit from a bit of cup matches and things like that. But overall, great season. Next year, our first one back in the Bundesliga. Finish where we did, it's just outstanding. A little bit hard on myself. I was just a little bit frustrated. I thought we nearly had that Champions League. Where we're playing, but I've got to take some of that blame myself. When we get to say we move on, move on to next season. It is what it is. Game didn't shine very bright in that uh, DFB Pokal, but something like I'd love to win next season. Maybe gets look at uh, look at silverware. I think in the in the coming season, whether it's a DFB Pokal, maybe even Europe with the Benus in the European Cup. But we'll see. And we'll see. As I say always, thanks for watching. So if you enjoy the content, any of your series, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Drop a, a comment as well if you've got something to say, you want to see something different or something that you may think I'm not doing right or you want to see more of, less of, etc, etc. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.